Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create an extra EBS volume and attach it to your Windows based EC2 instance. Okay, so I've explained how to do it for Linux based instances. So I will make sure to add the link to that video in the description box below. You can check that out. But this video is for Windows based EC2 instances. Okay, so for that, what I've done is I've created an EC2 instance, Windows EC2 instance. Okay, so this is the EC2 instance, this is the public IP address, this is the you know key pair, all these things I've created. So if you do not know how to create, I've created a separate video on how to create uh, Windows based EC2 instance and how to connect to Windows based EC2 instance. You can check that out okay so in this video the our intention is to create a new ebs volume and attach it to our running windows ec2 instance okay so let us check what is the storage or ebs volume that is currently attached to this ec2 okay so to do that select the ec2 instance go to storage and if you see here this is the volume that is currently attached the size is 30 gigs okay so and the status is attached so let us log into this ec2 instance and check if we have this 30 gigs attached to that okay so click on connect rdp connect rdp client so you can you know uh, download the rdp file or you can also use the uh, file that you uh, rdp application that you already have in your windows machine okay so to get password click on get password browse the key pair so make sure to use the same key pair that you have used to create the ec2 instance decrypt password so i have explained all these details in a separate video go and check that video and come back here okay so let me open rdp so this is my rdp here okay so i've copied my instances public IP address this is the public IP address so here it is the public IP address the username by default it is always administrator and click on connect so I have already connected to this I, I will not uh, uh, do it again so I just wanted to explain you how to connect okay so basically this is the EC2 instance okay so now let us go to files and under this PC, if you see, you have only local disk C drive basically, which is of 29.9. That means 30 GB of uh, C drive is available to you. So that clearly mentions our storage is fulfilling. So if you see the storage size is 30, approx you are getting 29.9 GB. Okay. So now let us go ahead and create a new volume and attach it okay so for that you need to come here all the way down okay under instances you have something called as elastic block store come and select volumes so this is the volume okay so this is the volume so what i'll do i'll go ahead and create a new volume okay so uh, volume type i'll select general purpose gp2 so you can also select provisioned iops or any other types that you want you can also go with magnetic but i'll go with gp2 okay so size i'll just go with 20 gigs okay so as this is just a demo i'll go with 20 gigs so you need to make sure that the region that you select or the availability zone that you select it should match with your ec2 instance let us check that here first okay so this is the ec2 instance and this is in us east 1b let me also select the same availability zone and if you have snapshots taken you can also create that uh, ec2 volume with the snapshot also and if you want to encrypt this volume so for security reasons if you want to encrypt you can do that you can create a kms key and select the kms key here okay right now i am not interested in doing that so i'll leave that as default okay N next is let me add a tag name and i'll just name this as windows volume 
okay so and click on create volume so this is the volume that I've just created so Windows volume if you see this is the volume that I created 20 GB and it is still creating in creating state let me refresh now if you see it is in available state okay so what I'll do next is I'll go ahead and attach this EC2 e EBS volume to our EC2 instance so how to do that select the EBS volume and click on actions here if you see attach volume select that option and under ec2 instance you only basically in my account this is the only instance that is running right now so i will select that and the device name is xvtf okay so make sure the availability zone matches with your ec2 instance right so in our case it is matching and this is the volume id and this is the volume name okay so let me click on attach volume so now previously it was in available state now it turned to in use state okay so let us log into that uh, ec2 instance and check if we have this extra volume attached okay so now if you see let me refresh it once again so if you see this is the only volume that i have that is of 30 gb so we just added 20 extra 20 gigs of extra volume but it is not getting reflected here the reason is you need to mount that here again okay so to do that go to your server manager if you search for server manager and click on that and open it okay so i've already opened it so i will open it here so under server manager in the left hand side if you see file and storage services click click on it and open okay so it will open volumes disks and storage pools so you need to go to disks okay so if you see here right now if you see this is the extra storage right so 20 gb we just added it but it is not yet mounted if you see it is offline right so select that one right click it will have an op you will have an option to bring that disk online so okay click on bring online confirm by clicking on yes okay so now if you see 20 gigs is online so it is still not attached let us verify let me go back here and refresh see it is still not available so the thing is you need to attach it or mount it so how to do that again right click so click on new volume so here it will tell you what uh, what will happen when you attach it okay so just click on next so which is the one that which is the disk that you want to add so i'll select this disk 20 gb right so this is the one that we created click on next so it is say, saying that basically it will bring online and it will be available so that is what our intention is so click on ok so basically it will ask you in the next stage how much size do you want so i want full storage that i've uh, created so that is of 20 gb select that and click on next so here uh, you will it will ask you for the drive letter so we will have c drive d drive e drive right so you can select whatever the uh, letter that you want so for this demo i'll go with e e drive okay so click on next again and here you can select the file system whether it is ntfs or refs so based on that your use case you can select that i'll go with ntfs and volume label so it is saying new volume let me change that to data or anything that you want okay so just to identify i'll name this as data and click on next so here it will give you the summary of what and all you have selected if you are okay with this click on create so it will take one or two minutes to get created so wait till that get created so now if you see all are completed close this one now let us go and check in the files so if you see we added data that is the label that we gave and e, i selected e drive right so that is also getting reflected and the storage how much did i select i selected 20 gb so so 19.9 gb of storage is still available to me right approx 
point one point one GB is taken for other uh, things. So nineteen point nine GB of storage is still available to you. Okay. So this is how you create EBS volume and attach it to your Windows based EC2 instances. Okay. So if you're liking the video that I'm creating, please subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.